Today I'm going to walk to the next Munich cafe for Lurten, uh, which is called Stange. And uh, I uh, got um, some ideas for walking there. People think that if you live out in the country, there's nothing to do. And um, I'm basically going to prove that wrong. I packed my bag uh, with a lot of stuff like knots, matches, water, and energy drinks, and some chocolate. And, yeah. I also have some buns and. Yeah, my card deck is in here, but I also have my uh, Visa card and stuff in it as well. Uh, and also strawberries. I don't want you to come with me, uh, but I think there's one friend that wants to come with me. Hi, Ante. You want to come with me? You want to take a tour? Huh? You want to come? Hey? You want to come? Yeah? You do? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Right now, uh, we are like uh, one kilometer away from uh, downtown. Uh, uh, my plan was to start there, but I, 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 I don't mind. So now we're going to walk this direction to uh, Odalsbruk. You may wonder what this thing is. Uh, it looks kind of weird uh, built. It's called Stabur. It's uh, made for drying uh, meat. So uh, that's why it's made such... And uh, yeah, this is really Norwegian culturally. Yeah, it's a straw house. Uh, now they don't make many of those anymore. Uh, the fashion says so, uh, but I don't see too many of them. Uh, and uh, nowadays, uh, most of those are on the Faroe Islands. Uh, I yeah, I don't use shoes. I've been using shoes uh, all all summer, so I'm going to see how far I can go <laughs> with that. This turn is dangerous. <laughs> uh, this is also really uh, Norway culturally using those colors. Yeah, this is very Norwegian. 10.21. Uh, we started uh, 10 o'clock a.m. And uh, walking around all summer don't get a single bruise on my feet. Right now I uh, caught uh, my toe. and. Uh, yeah, because this happened right now. This is totally weird. I did expect something to happen to my feet uh, while I'm walking this long trip. But I didn't realize that it would happen just uh, walking one kilometer. A corn silo and a boat. And we live far away from the ocean. This is the old lady university. Yeah, now <laughs> we're in Olofsbruk, yeah. Water getting through, yay. The sun plants. And uh, up there is the old station. Just in time, they are digging here. And most likely this is for finding stuff from the Viking Age. Rebuilding work, really in the middle of nowhere, you know. Uh, people are living all over this country, even though it's low populated. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this is not a bus stop. This is a place they made. Uh, they used a lot of money making this. Because this is where Edvard Munch were born. You know who he is? Uh, this may uh, give you some Scream and Madonna. You know those two paints, if, if don't just uh, search for it. We need money for schools and hospitals and I use like thousands uh, making this. This is totally weird. I mean there are still people living there. So uh, uh, there you see a poster for the farm. This area is something about the people here that having fancy cars. Oh, I like this roundabout. Has been here forever. This place used to have a big industry. This is what's left of it. And uh, yeah, they are making uh, stuff out of wood. This is a local store. In all Lurten there's two of those. Only two. Yeah. Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And. Uh, it may be shut down in a few years or something because uh, more and more stuff that is not local gets shut down all the time. How'd you buy some medicaments? <laughs> I was just lucky that this store was there because this country does not have much local uh, so if you're going to take a trip or something you have to take stuff with you all the time uh, like uh, separated to Japan where I found like uh, uh, vending machines all over the country. Uh, I will tell you if I see a vending machine over here, but I, I don't think I will see a single one. 
Crefos. This place used to be a paper fabric. So, uh, yeah. This is from the industry time. This is one out of many buildings that used to be here. Uh, over there is also one of the old buildings that used to be here. Down there is one of them. Here you will see three flags because it's not blowing, you can't see it clearly. But it's the Finnish, the Danish, the Swedish and the Norwegian flag. And uh, uh, no one else. <laughs> the Musee Center in Lurton. Many nice places around here. But stop it! Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, place, uh, I think this will be the place I take the first rest. What's wrong with you? He don't want his own food, but my food he wants. Okay, <laughs> I uh, eat a bit of this, because uh, it's really popular in Norway. Buns are really popular in Norway. I don't know why, but they are really popular. I think this is just, uh, a British energy drink. It costs 1.9 pounds but in Norway it costs like three times this reminding me of something it's like seven up in energy form all this information nothing in English all in region even though they even had a Finnish flag up there and Finnish people don't understand the region You can walk without shoes, and it's not a problem. It's easier than walking in the streets, basically. You just have to move your feet differently. Like, that comes naturally, you know. This is a great place to walk. It's marked, that's beautiful. I'm walking with a dog, drinking, and uh, maneuver a camera at the same time. How the folklore explains trolls. It looks like they have been passing through. This place is real special, because when you get up the hill there, it looks like we're on the mountain. But this is far away from mountain. Uh, this is high above the ocean, but still, this place is not mountain. <laughs> yeah, it started to become rocky. And look at how it grows. It grows like it is mountains. Exactly. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this place is it feels like magic, you know. The Christian Lin uh, trail. This is the trail we're going to follow into Stange. Isn't that right, Ante? Oh, he don't really care, I think. 11.49 a.m. This is really like a mountain. But it's not mountain at all. This is so strange. Krefos, Romedal, Lien. Romedal is in Stange, so this is the direction we're going to take. Typical Norwegian wood races. I think they put those up just for fun. You know, cultural things are really popular in Norway. Here we are on an ATV field. Uh, it's not used today, I can see that. Uh, it's a bigger trail and it's easier to walk on, basically. <laughs> and he's dragging too much. I can't handle him. I could do it better without him. But still, it's more fun having with him with me. Oh, it goes both ways. <laughs> still nice over there as well, I can see that. <laughs> but I have to walk. Here. He is not calm. He is stressing. Close to the highway road. You can hear that? Maybe. <laughs> What's it with you? Are you thirsty or something? Uh, 
the trail is going here. I want to keep walking here, but I have to walk into a small trail. Blueberries. I tried to taste a few and it it didn't taste good. I can try this one. Uh, see if it tastes any good. Okay, this one wasn't really bad, but the other ones were uh, nasty. Nice place. Why didn't we rest here? 12, 11 a.m. Well, it's going between really thick bush. This is like... <laughs> well, clear for 3.1 that direction. We're going this direction. We need to hurry up a bit. Be a bit loose is terrible walking. I can't do that too close to home because then he just run home. Here he don't know. So <laughs> here he really listen. He do. He do. So. Is you running this way? Well, I'm used to run. I run all the time. There we're going to have not off road, <laughs> off road, but on road, because. Uh, we're going over there. Say, now we're in Stange. So, uh, uh, as far as you're on the trail here, you're inside Stange and not Lotten anymore. So you see, it's about 2.8 to Romedal and uh, uh, it's farther to uh, the, uh, the to downtown in uh, Stange. The trail led me over here. <laughs> really, I'm going in there. It's that sound, it's from the ground. It's some weird noise. I don't know what it is. It's from here, but I I can't see anything. Clear force, that direction. <laughs> here is a trail going down, and we are also go not here, as we are going down here. <sighs> you can cross the road down here, but we're not going to do that. I think there's a riding camp down here. Or it may be further away. 12.55 a.m. And... I like it here. He likes it here. It's uh, open. It's an open field. Come here! Hey, come here! Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Ran off towards the highway. Why in the world did he do that? The highway is just down there. He could have been killed. I think yeah, this is the way we have to walk first. Because uh, Rumedal is just uh, down here. Past the horse farm, because uh, I remember it being a rocky middle of the tunnel over there. And uh, they used to tag. Uh, gonna have to walk under here. Well, that's a really nice wheelie, so. Oh. Yeah, acoustic. I like this energy, you know. <laughs> This feel good. I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction right now. Uh, I'm going to see what's down here, so I'll figure. On the trail. I <laughs> didn't. This is the first blue sign I've seen. Some really farmish thing here. Uh, I can't remember being here. Maybe I have. If I have been here, we have been walking in the wrong direction. Uh, oh, signs. No, I don't think we are on the wrong direction right now. Because I'm going to see if I can uh, follow the trail. Here seems okay. I can... Oh, it's a beautiful sight over there. Get this. Maybe we'll rest here. Hey, we're resting here. Yeah, thank you. Strawberries is a mess. Ah, uh, I wonder what... He don't want to eat anything now. Uh, I tried to give him something, but he don't want to eat anything. Uh, I'm going to have some Norwegian chocolate called uh, Kvik Lunch. And it means quick lunch for some reason. <laughs> so that is uh, really uh, Norwegian number one chocolate, uh, mostly for trips. 
don't like electric fans. Another fence. No, I'm not playing Legends of Zelda. Where in the world am I going now? In here, I guess. Forest. You know what? I should have been... Oh, I shouldn't go under the, the road right there. That's uh, fence again. Probably good. But, oh man, I stepped in some cow shit. Ah. This is annoying. Oh, not didn't fence. Uh, don't, don't, don't touch, don't touch. Don't you dare touching that. This, I got to stop filming now. Off track, I know what the right direction is, but I don't know where to go. Uh, just stomping around here, it's like, oh. This is, oh. I can't describe, nettle, oh, nettle. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is totally heterosexual. Flies. Okay. Where am I? Ow! Nil. Okay. I don't know what to do now. Up, up there, I think. Man, it looks like that cattle is hurt. Don't, don't move, don't move. Looks like the, I can't film his leg. Who's the farmer? I gotta go down to the farm. Farm, yes, I, I gotta talk to the farmer. Terrible mistake walking down here. The farmer wasn't home. The keys was in the door, but the farmer is not home. And uh, we had to walk through so much cow shit to get into this place and uh, even Ante got electrocuted twice try <laughs> during trying to get into the farm. Oh, this is awful. And I'm going down to the main road to see if I can get on uh, the trail again. Strumida, because uh, this is Strumida Church. So uh, I'm going to head up this, uh, this uh, street. I talked to the farmer over there and he said uh, he's going to handle it so He's gonna call him up and then tell him that one of the cattles uh, are hurt. So I guess I guess it'll be okay with the cattle. We have Stung Station, really close. I guess there. There's a gas station over there, so I just gonna wash off if it's possible. And they have toilets on all gas stations in Norway. The gas station, but this is really a local area. See people finish at school and stuff. Fun, cause the, the lady at uh, the store, uh, she took care of Ante, so, and because she had him outside, uh, there come kids buying ice cream. 2.17 p.m. Yeah. So I'm heading this direction at the moment. I am... I am off course, uh, not too much, so where I, uh, where the gas station and stuff, I went wrong direction. Oh, I can't believe I didn't see this. It's downhill. <laughs> I see this, and I think, yalla yalla, I want to make kebab. So, yes, it is huge. <laughs> Here, so I think I'm really close. See some smoke over there for some reason. And I think it's rather a school or just a football field or something. The old road is not this one, it's, 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 it's this one. So we're going to head that direction because uh, the traffic there is uh, too much. A little rest along the road here. I'm trying to get uh, further. Uh, so I'm. Um, yeah. Oh, it's a tree. You got to be kidding me, that's... Okay. I guess it's... I am getting closer. 
just getting through here and then to this is kind of tall hill <laughs> over there's the station yes I'm pretty close now 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 I know now that there it is there's the goal my guess is that I'm in the chicken farm I was wrong this is pigs yeah I just have to follow this road over there so okay it sounds Norwegian Motor Museum so that's probably here somewhere I don't know on the road again I can't wait to get on the road again what do you think Ante? he's walking he's, he's actually 10 years old and uh, he has been with me all this trip he's <laughs> been really long look at, the, look at this thing what is this? I mean like you can zoom in on this thing here Able. Yeah, uh, NH, uh, be careful, gas danger. So this has something with gas to do, and it's along the road, it's totally weird. Sports stadium in Stang is here. Over here you have a tree, and there you have it. Told the honest with you, I've never been here before. <laughs> he may have, I don't know, people walking around and going to walk over there, crossing the road, and I um, think I am here. Really close, really close. <laughs> you see a parking lot. Yeah, he wants to go this direction, but that's wrong. Under there, and then we made it. Okay. We managed to do it in five, four, three, two, one. Made it! Yay! Okay, all the way from Lotenstange in like five hours. This is awesome. This is totally awesome. Train station, we are here. This is it. We made it. Aren't you happy? Of course, he's happy. This is what is called in Norwegian Stangebyen. It translates to Stange City. What is really fun about this is that this place does not have a city status. So that is really fun. This place, it could be it's big enough for the Norwegian criteria, but it's not. 4.24 p.m. Hi Ante, I haven't been able to get him to eat anything, so I went into a pet shop to find something that he made have liked, so I got this a special sausage. Sit, please, oh, will he eat, will he eat, yeah, he is eating, yeah, <laughs> he wants to eat it, you have to eat something, so, eat it then, oh yeah. He don't want to get rid of it, so yeah, he's eating. Nice. Uh, so right now, oh, like that, yeah. Uh, now we're going home. Uh, I'm not sure if he can manage. I can manage, but uh, he's old, like a ten-year-old Irish setter. So yeah, I'll see. I, I won't feel too much uh, back, uh, but I will tell you when I'm home. Back home now. Uh, this trip was basically to show you that. You can do stuff, even though you live out in the country. Like, people say that taking a stroll is boring. It may be, but if you really go out on an adventure, you don't know what <laughs> you can discover. In this case of scenario, it was far more action than I thought. So, this it was a great trip. Uh, still, I uh, found a wounded animal. Uh, but I, I think that animal will, will be okay and uh, this really proves that it is possible to walk without shoes so <laughs> uh, I prove that